Uh, works up towards the top half of the map, and that's going to be the four-man turret take. All right, and with our stream back up, it's going to have to see. Now, we do have the Slade Zop coming out from both teams and faster who can get more turret damage and who gets these turrets down a little faster. And Purple Pirates have already succeeded on that, except they didn't finish the turret. They're going to let it kill a, a lot more minions and let the wave bounce. The second part of lane swapping after you get the turrets down is bouncing the wave for your top laner so they can get a nice huge wave that they can just freeze and farm up because they were double jungling or because they were helping out everyone get this turret damage. Looks in Theo tanks point so that he's able to tank that damage up nice and easy. Prebro low, but not low enough. You won't be able to smite this one away. Dragon number one goes the way of Syndicate. And if he does, that's where we're going to see the play. Mateusz looking for the taunt onto Execution. Will be able to find it. Alex and Theo dropping low. Heal's going to be popped. Execution, he's going to fall. First blood goes the way of Syndicate. Alex and Theo still way too low. Apricot looking to follow this one up. Somehow, Alex running deep behind enemy lines, but he's going to find Zerat. Wait. Pick potential, but now, Apricot in trouble. Now the fight breaking out once more. Frosty's here, Mateusz is here, and Apricot will see you later, sir. 23 seconds from now, his screen's gonna get multiple people. Nazarene and Frosty putting down as much damage onto this turret as they can. A nice stun comes out from Saligo. Naz might be in some trouble. A little bit of health left. Execution's able to find that one. They edge in the team fight. Tree Bro able to find some damage down here onto Feth, but that's the one guy you don't want to initiate the fight on. Zerath's stun will not connect onto Tree Bro. Almost does, but he barely gets himself out of the range. Beth is ready to go. He's ready to turn into Meganar. TP gonna come in now. They're going to collapse. Mateusz is here. Who's he going to find? He's got to get into the back line. A good stun comes down from Saligo. Looking to block that one. Beth's about to die before he's even able to find the slam. And there he goes. Tree Bro grabs that kill. Ace in the hole comes down. Mateusz is gonna treat that one as a little bit of a tickle. They're just like <laughs> walking into a slaughterhouse pretty much. Because Syndicate can immediately turn and kill them. Have to see what they're able to do. Giving away Baron's pretty much suicide at this point as well. Trebro secures it. Apricot tries to go in. He's going to suicide for that one. The stun. Can he follow this one up and land the taunt? Taunting Zareth at this point might be huge. Naz forced to flash away. Hexor almost able to find that outplay. Almost able to find that free kill. But Trebro is here. Mateusz is here. And Hexor, you are in some trouble, my friend. Spear will not connect. Mateusz still looking for more. Over the wall comes Trebro. Almost able to find the damage. Couple more wombo combos will do it. Body block onto the spear from Feph. Trebro still looking to escape. Alex and Theo's here, and he's got more shields. More heals. More support control for this fight. Feph with a huge slam into the wall. Here comes the Zareth. Ultimate one more shot's able to take Tree Bro down, and now Feth, Execution, and Saligo are looking for even more. They've even more pressure onto Purple Pirates to have to answer Syndicate all over the map. Yeah, you're right. Even if they were able to hold on. Mateusz gonna find him out, and he is completely alone. Mateusz able to find so much damage. If Hexor didn't have that QSS, he was 100% dead. Now he's Frosty, Naz, Alex, everybody from Sins looking to push down inhibitor turret number one, and they'll find it. 30 minutes into the game. Inhibitor number one will shortly follow as Execution has to try to get himself away from this one. Drops the ultimate. Naz goes way too deep. Forced to flash away. Frosty's got the soldiers here standing in a line, keeping that AD carry safe as now inhibitor number one is down. Tree Bro goes way too deep. Once again, the Karma heals are almost enough to keep him alive, but Feth has the wallet to take him out. Saligo still surviving for the time being. A very clutch shield from Execution keeps that mid lane mage ticking. Here comes the ultimate. One. Two, three's gonna miss, but Hexor's got the auto attacks to take him down. Syndicate loses two, Purple Pirates loses one, but Syndicate has also taken that first inhibitor. Execution looking to find some slows down on a Naz. Beth is here, but they need more reliable damage. Saligo's got the stun on a Frosty, who's got no mana to continue this fight. He tries to flash over the wall. Naz has to use the heal just to keep these guys going. Pirates, you've gotta collapse, you've gotta find more, you've got to punish harder for this. Syndicate has overstayed, and now Naz is able to find the kill into execution. One for one there. Frosty with about 50 HP. Got to keep running. Here comes Boomerang right into that laser. Zareth able to grab that one as well. Hexor's got to be looking out for Rammus because if he doesn't, he's dead. And now that Purple Pirates wasn't able to capitalize on that almost ace they did, they're going to get punished for it. They weren't able to kill Matius either, so it's going to be an easy Baron on the side of Syndicate, not even contested. And with an open inhibitor, one down for, for Purple Pirates, they've never been able to actually do anything. They're down one kill, but they're also down 13k gold. Dragon 5, now in the pocket to Syndicate. Naz over the wall, Culling gonna be dropped again. What is the cooldown on that thing? Stun comes down from Zareth. Have to make their stand and no stand's gonna be made. Inhibitor number three under pressure, and Syndicate has completely broken the back of the Purple Pirates base. 
All that's left now is to slowly force up into the very final stand, that keep in the castle, as Nexus Turret number one has already fallen. Nexus Turret number two gonna be the next objective, as Alex and Theo, Frosty and Trebro are able to lay down so much poke. Saligo gets almost deleted from Naz's dash into auto attack combination. Trebro's looking to go deep here. He's very low. Nice three-man slam coming out from Theft, but he's gonna fall immediately. Naz goes with him. Apricot dead now too. Frosty's soldiers bring so much pain. Hexor is able to escape, but the Nexus is not, and Syndicate goes up two to zero. Another dominating game coming out on the side of Syndicate.